It is common to create tasks or flag emails in Outlook for Windows only to abandon them later. So you end up with years of items in your task manager. It contains items that have no due dates or they're already completed or have overdue statuses. In this video, I will demonstrate various methods to review and remove your outdated flagged emails as well as tasks in Outlook for Windows. Also, here is a great opportunity to start fresh when you learn about the To Do app. Think about it this way. You are moving into a new home soon and you begin to get rid of the outdated and non-value added stuff. So let's get started with the cleanup. So I have navigated to Adele's um, mailbox in Outlook desktop and let me set the stage for you. I'm going to show you how you can filter and search for flagged emails in your mailbox and then I'll show you some tricks and tips in removing the flagged emails and tasks from the task manager. So all you want to do is click on this drop down and choose flag status. Notice that I have two flagged items. It grouped them for me. Follow up flag, let me know there's two items here. Notice it's telling you you have unflagged items here. And I have the focus and other feature um, turned on. So I actually have to click on the other tab to see the additional flagged items. So that is one way. Um, another way is you can also use the search command. So if you go into search and select search for mail flagged by me, and I want you to notice that it has follow up flag colon follow up flag. So make note of that just in case that does not show in your drop down, you can actually type it in. Also, it is pulling all the information from the current mailbox. If you click on the drop down here, you can say all mailboxes if you have multiple email accounts that you are managing. But the best way to do this is let's go to the task manager. So let me share with what you have here and I'm going to start by expanding the folder um, pane. Here, this is going to give you the list of all the accounts that you have um, access to. Notice under my tasks, when you click on the to do, it is actually the simple list, right? It's going to show you, you know, your task subject, your due date, categories in folders, which is very helpful because now you know what folder it is saved in, as well as your task status. So it's either complete or incomplete, right? So when you look here, if you see a flag that's letting you know that it's incomplete, and if it is a check mark, it means that it has been done. You have the ability to look at all your um, tasks um, for every account, or you can just click on an individual. Let's look at Adele only. I see her task and flagged messages, as well as um, Nestor. And if I go back to the to-do list, it is showing all of them. So really helpful. Let's review the ribbon across the top. Couple things. Okay, so let's start with delete key. Now I have um, my items sorted by this icon. If you don't see anything here in this column, if it's blank, that uh, means that it is a flagged email. And anything that has a clipboard with a check mark, that is a task because they're they are two different things and they behave differently. Do not delete any of your flagged emails. When you delete it, it will also delete the email and it will go to the deleted folder. So be really careful. When you look at the clipboard with the check mark, that is a task. And if you remove it from the list, it's actually going to delete it as well. So keep in mind that, you know, should you accidentally delete a flag email or task, it is saved in your um, deleted folder for 30 days. So be do this carefully when you're cleaning out your task list. Here's a good time to take a quick break and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Microsoft tricks, tips, and news.
The other thing that I want to review with you is some of the um, views that are available to you. If you click on detailed, and if it's a task, it's just going to show you some information here. And if you happen to click on a flagged email, it's going to show you the content. Again, very helpful. Same thing with active. You have completed items as well as overdue items. Okay, so let's go back to the simple list because there's a couple tricks I want to share with you. The whole goal for this video is to help you clean up some of your tasks and flag emails. And what I recommend is that you keep current year plus one. That is a total of two years worth of content. Now, you choose the best time, you know, that fits you and what you do, but it's not forever and it's not five years. What items should you remove from the list? Think about removing any task that has no due dates associated with it, with it if it's already completed or overdue, right? And I um, want to show you how you can look at some of this information. So in our columns here, there are three additional columns that I recommend that you adding. If you right click on it and go to view settings, go to columns, and the three that I recommend is assigned to, modified, and owner, and hit OK. Now, notice you may have to make some adjustments to your columns. Just go ahead and hold down your mouse key and um, adjust your columns. Now that I adjust my columns, I actually want to move this owner's column next to the sign to, and I'll tell you why in a second. The reason is, notice that I shared with you anything that is blank over here, that is a flagged item. I want to know who is it is assigned to. That's letting me know who is the owner. And when you look at the task, Microsoft has assigned the person in the owner column. So it's going to really help you take a look at this information. Now, there's multiple ways how you can review this. You could actually sort. So you can look at, you know, all of Dale's task at one moment at one time you're looking at the modified date and the modified date is old you want to go ahead and remove it from the list you can also group your tasks so if you click on the anywhere on the column headers right click and choose group by box notice over here in the you know left side you see drag a column header here to group by that column. So I can easily take the category column and just drag it in that area. Notice that you have this little symbol here to identify if you want ascending or descending order. Here I have all my tasks grouped by the categories. You can also add a secondary column as well. So let's say we want to see in folder. Just drag it there. Now you have two levels of groupings to see your task. That is very helpful, especially if you have a lot of tasks and you want to slice it or dice it um, any way you like. Now, just to remove them, all you have to do is just right click on it and choose don't group by this field. Same thing here. Let's say you want to take that off as well. And you have this here. Now, if you don't want this um, you know, feature to be displayed here at all, what you have to do is right click on any column, deselect group by box. And now it is gone. Okay, so now that I have my columns all set, I would actually start looking at my completed items first, right? I would look at the completed by selecting on that view. And I will just take a quick look and look at the modified date, but I'm just looking through here. I don't need any of this. And so what I recommend that you do is click on the first one, 
scroll to the bottom, hold the shift key to highlight them all, and then say remove from list. Now, I do recommend that you only highlight about 100 at a time. What you don't want to do is take the risk that your system times out or you need to change your focus while it's in the process of syncing. So the next one that I would consider I'm doing is looking at is the overdue items. So looking at the overdue items, I can look here again. I see that this is 2021. I see some 2022 items. I would want to keep what's in 2023. Again, I would highlight them and click this remove item. The next items I would review is, you know, what items that have no status on it, right? It's either saying no, none or it is not started. So let's look at the simple list again. And I will sort on the due date and anything that does not have a signed due date on it, I would actually go through the same process, look at the modified date. There's no due date on this and remove them. So I, although that I did not remove items from my list because this is my test environment for you, you will see that this list will start to narrow down even more. And then the last one that we will look at is active. By that time, you should have a smaller list and you may still have an opportunity to weed out some items. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I hope this is not a big chore for you. So now go work your magic.